Revelation, first chapter. The revelation of Jesus Christ, his unveiling of the divine mysteries, which God gave to him to show to his bondservants, believers, the things which must soon take place in their entirety. And he sent his angel and communicated it to his bondservant, John, who has testified and affirmed the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ, everything that he saw in his visions. Blessed, happy, prosperous to be admired is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy. And blessed are those who hear it read and pay attention to the things which are written in it, heeding them and taking them to heart, for the time of fulfillment is near. John, to the seven churches that are in the province of Asia, grace, favor to you, and peace inner calm from him who is existing forever and who was continually existing in the past and who is to come and from the seven spirits that are before his throne and from Jesus Christ, the faithful and trustworthy witness, the firstborn of the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who always loves us and who has once for all freed us or washed us from our sins by his own blood, his sacrificial death, and formed us into a kingdom as his subjects, priests to his God and Father. To him be the glory and the power and the majesty and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And all the tribes, nations of the earth will mourn over him, realizing their sin and guilt and anticipating the coming wrath. So it is to be, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord God, who is existing forever and who was continually existing in the past and who is to come, the Almighty, the Omnipotent, the Ruler of all. I, John, your brother and companion in the tribulation and kingdom and perseverance which are in Jesus, was on the island called Patmos, exiled there because of my preaching of the word of God regarding eternal salvation and the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit, in special communication with the Holy Spirit, and empowered to receive and record the revelation from Jesus Christ on the Lord's day. And I heard behind me a loud voice like the sound of a trumpet saying, write on a scroll what you see in this revelation and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus and to Smyrna and to Pergamum and to Thyatira and to Sardis and to Philadelphia and to Laodicea. Then I turned to see the voice that was speaking with me. And after turning, I saw seven golden lampstands and in the midst of the lampstands, one like a son of man, clothed in a robe which reached to his feet and with a golden sash wrapped around his chest. His head and his hair were white like white wool, glistening white like snow, and his all-seeing eyes were flashing like a flame of fire piercing into anyone who was looking at him. His feet were like burnished white-hot bronze, refined in a furnace, and his voice was powerful like the sound of many waters. In his right hand, he held seven stars, and from his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword of judgment. And his face, reflecting his majesty and the Shekinah glory, was like the sun shining in all its power at midday. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. And he placed his right hand on me and said, do not be afraid, I am the first the last absolute deity, the Son of God, and the ever-living one, living in and beyond all time and space. I died, but see, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of absolute control and victory over death and of Hades, the realm of the dead. So write the things which you have seen in the vision, and the things which are now happening, and the things which will take place after these things. As for the mystery of the seven stars, which you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands, the seven stars are the angels, divine messengers of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. May these words from the book of Revelation bring insight, blessing, and understanding to your heart. Amen.